All right, everybody, welcome back. KJCR, JimmyChurchRadio.com. From Burbank, California, live from the Galpin Ford Studios. We're right here with the Deacon Dogs. Hilton J. Palm, Charlie, the Shekinator Sheckman. I am your host, Jimmy Church, live from the Galpin Ford Studios. Galpin Ford, the link is right there on the website. Go down there, click on it. Pick out a car, go talk to Ruby Cartuni, and the sales manager for the largest volume Ford dealer in the world. His cell phone is 818-425-2828. Give him a call. All right. I'm your host, Jimmy Church, for syndicatednews.net. JimmyChurchRadio.com. Tragedy struck in Egypt. At least 74 people were killed, hundreds injured, about 150 critically, up to or uh, up to about 1,000 people injured. And out of these 74 people, uh, soccer fans there in Port Said, we're talking about fans being thrown out of the stadium. A lot of the, the, the fans that were killed hit the ground stabbed, beaten to death. Uh, from the video, and we're showing it here now, and you can see the fans rushing onto the field. No security, nothing going on. There's a handful of guys, security guys, if you look really close. The teams are running off of the field. It was total bedlam. No, nothing. Nobody protecting anybody there. Nobody there to even uh, come close to stopping what turned out to be an extreme tragedy. I mean, I can't think of the last time anything like this, 74 people killed. Okay, now, I want you to think about something. The manager, the manager of Al Masri said that, and I quote here, this is not about soccer. This is bigger than that. This is a plot to topple the state. That's how serious They take soccer around the world. If you think the NBA lockout was rough, the NFL lockout was rough, it's never about something that's about to topple the state. You know, after the Super Bowl this weekend, you know, nothing like this goes down. We've had our little bumps in the road and some tragedies that have gone down at, you know, at Dodger Stadium this year. You know, little things. But think about that. What we would do in this country if 74 football fans were killed after a football game. That's how crazy this is. And when you look at this video and you look at, there were, there were, there's a shot of a guy shooting a Roman candle into the stands, from the stands going around while the soccer match is going on. It was out of control. I've never seen anything quite like this. And now we have 74 people dead. We've got, you know, now we've got two cities that, you know, it's like revolution over a soccer game, pointing fingers. It's the government. It's it's a conspiracy, you know, and I can't blame anybody on either side when you have 74 deaths from pointing fingers and uproar, the military involved. You know, police surrounding the hotel, military flight, getting the team out of there, back to Cairo alive. Absolute insanity. So before you think, before you think it's crazy here in the United States, you need to watch this video. Watch it again. That's what goes on. You know, and that's not a third world country. That's Egypt. You know what I'm saying? For syndicatednews.net. We got it good here, man, in the United States. Don't ever think that we don't. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us. Time for, time for- 